In this video, we're going to be talking about how to start your own website design business so that you can start earning income from selling websites. Now, you don't have to have previous experience building websites or do some degree or some expensive course for you to learn how to build websites, but you'll be able to build websites using a very special tool that I'll reveal in this video. The first thing that you'll need to do is that you need to come up with your own website where you can actually promote the services that you'll be offering and also demonstrate some of the previous work that you have done as a website designer. Now, the tool that we're going to be using is this one, which is called Creator HQ. And basically, it's a platform that allows you to build websites without you having to learn how to code. To be able to build a website, all you need to do is just simply come here to the top and click on their templates and then scroll through all the different templates that are available and find a template that you like. For example, I can come here and click on business and then I'll just scroll down and choose a template. For example, there's this one. I can click on view so that I can preview what my website will actually look like. And as you can see, this is a professional looking website. It's already been created for you. And all you simply need to do is just click here where it says start with this theme. And then you'll be able to start changing every single thing that you see on this page. You can change the text. You can change the images. You can change the colors. And so what this basically means is that you'll be able to make a website in just a couple of minutes using the templates that have already been created for you. These templates have been created by professional website designers meaning that you don't really have to worry about being able to design. As long as you are able to change text, change colors, change images, you'll be able to create stunning websites just like the one that you are seeing here. So you're just going to simply click here where it says start with this theme, go to the next page and register a free account with a 14-day trial. On the next page, choose the title of your website. I just said my new business, click submit. And just like that, I've come to the builder section where I can start building the website. Now you're going to notice this thing is going to pop up here which is going to introduce you to how the platform actually works. And you can press play on this video to watch, and it's going to be a short tutorial that will explain how you can actually start editing the website. But for now, I'm just going to click on the X and then just show you how simple and easy it is to actually start changing stuff. For example, here where it says headline to push visitors to action, it's actually telling you what to do. I need to put a headline here. I can just highlight the text and type in and say, welcome to my new business. It's that easy to start changing everything. I can then come here and change and put whatever text I want. I can change the call to action and write something like buy now or book a call. I can click on this image here, click where it says edit image, and then I can click there again and then choose to upload an image from my computer. Now, because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm not going to show you everything about how to use this platform. But one of the great attributes about this platform is that if you look here at the top, there's this option for the academy. You can actually click on academy and then it will bring you to this section here where you can actually get video tutorials that will teach you everything about website design. For example, how to create a website, how to create e-commerce stores, how to create funnels, how to do email automations, how to set up quizzes and surveys, and how to ship and how to, and also how to set up memberships. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video below so that you can actually click on that link and come to the website and try it out for yourself. You're going to get a 14 day free trial. Also, just to let you know, I've got a free course that trains people how to start their own website design businesses. This video that you're watching is actually quite short, but in this course, I teach you everything that you need to know about building your website design business. I teach you how to use a platform. I teach you all the website design basics you need to know. And I also show you different ways of actually finding clients. So if you're interested in learning everything you need to know about actually starting your own website design business, make sure you click the link in the description below for the free course, sign up and start learning. Now, once you've built your own website, the next thing that you need to include on the website is a portfolio of different works that you've done for other clients. Now, you're probably thinking, Marshall, I'm a beginner. I don't have previous work experience or a portfolio of work that I've done. The easiest way to overcome this obstacle is by creating concept websites or dummy websites that you will showcase on your website. So rather than creating a full website for a client, you can create an example of what a website will actually look like. And what I recommend that you do is that you find maybe four different categories. For example, a hair salon, a car dealership, maybe a real estate company, and then maybe a law firm. Create concept websites using the platform I just showed you and then put them on your website saying that this is the type of work that you can do. Clients are not necessarily worried about whether you have done work for other clients before. They just want to see that you are actually able to do the work. So you putting these concept websites on your website actually shows them the quality of work that you're able to do and the chances are high that they'll say yes to you 
for you to build their own website. This will also give you the opportunity to actually practice your craft. You're going to be building your own website and learning how to use the platform. Then as you build these other website concepts, you're going to be learning and mastering your skill so that by the time you get to real clients, you actually know what you're doing. The next thing that you need to do is that you need to choose your niche. And niche simply talks about the types of companies that you want to work with. Now, it's important for you to niche down because there are some websites that are simple to make and then there are some other websites that are very complicated to make. For example, a website for a lawyer is totally different from a website for a supermarket. A lawyer might just need one or two buttons where someone can book a call and time for them to set an appointment with the lawyer. Whereas a supermarket will need you to create thousands of categories of the different products that they have on sale. So because you're a complete beginner or maybe you are someone who is more advanced, depending on the experience that you have, you want to focus on niches that go in line with your experience. Also, the more you focus on one niche, it allows you to become faster at building websites because you've done this before. It allows you to use the same templates over and over again, just changing the logos, the text and the images, which means that you'll be building websites even faster. And also it allows you then to become the expert of that particular niche when it comes to building websites for them. What I'd recommend that you do is that you simply go to ChatGPT and type in something like, I'm starting a website design business. Give me a list of niches. I can start to provide my website design services. And as you can see, ChatGPT is going to start giving you different ideas of different niches that you can focus on. These are all different types of companies that you can actually target and offer to do website designs for them. Also, when choosing your niche, you want to make sure that you choose those niches where people actually have got money to pay. Like just to give you a funny example, you don't want to choose a niche of small tuck shops because though they might get customers every day, they might not be the right customers because they can't afford to pay for your website. Now that you've got your own website with your portfolio on your website and you've chosen your niche, the next step is for you to start finding clients. Now, there are so many different ways that you can approach finding clients. In fact, I'll need to make a lot of different videos to talk about the different methods of finding clients. But I'm just going to show you three different ideas of how you can find clients. The first one is to use your current contacts. You might think, but I don't have any contacts that want to do business with me. But you might just be surprised that you might actually know people who actually need website design. So what you're going to do is that you're going to come up with your own message that looks like something like this. You're going to say, hey, so-and-so, so-and-so meaning their name, obviously. I'm excited to let you know that I have just started my own website design business and I'm looking to help. Then mention the type of people that you want to help or maybe the niche that you want to focus on. I am looking to help mention the type of business and then mention what you, the website design is going to help them to achieve. For example, I'm looking to help law firms to gain more customers by building a website that will allow people to book calls, see schedule of when the lawyers are available, and also create awareness in the local environment that this law firm exists and where people can actually come to visit the lawyers. Then you continue to say, if you know anyone who might be interested in this, please reply to me and let me know. Now you can tweak this any way that you want, but after you've come up with your own message, what you're going to do is that you're going to reach out to every single one of your contacts who is of legal age and you're just going to simply send them this message. Now, that means that you're going to be sending to your contacts on WhatsApp. You're going to be sending to your contacts on your social media platforms like Facebook, like Instagram, like Twitter. Simply go to your contact section and just send the message to everyone. You can also go into your Gmail account. Maybe you've had a Gmail or whatever service provider you use for your emails. You've been using it for five years and you have emailed back and forth with so many different people. Your job is simply to send the email to them. Now, the nice part about this method is that some of these people actually know you and they might not know that you will run a business or have done business with you, but because they've got some form of a relationship with you, some of them might be willing to give you a chance. Now, what will then happen is that some of these people are going to ignore you and say absolutely nothing. That's normal and it happens. It's okay. But then some of these people might actually do what you're saying and then they'll forward your message to someone that they know might actually need a website. If they do that, it might also be a good idea to include your contact details in that message that they are forwarding. And then thirdly, some of these people might actually be someone who needs the website. So though you're asking them, do you know someone? Someone might just say, yes, actually, I do need a website. And then you can then start talking to them from that point. So don't be shy. Just simply send out the message and you'll be shocked that you might actually just get your first customer by doing that. After that, there are two other ways that you can get clients. There's what's called inbound marketing and then there's outbound marketing. Inbound marketing means that clients come looking for you 
Whereas outbound marketing means that you are going out and actually looking for clients. So an example of inbound marketing is creating content on social media. It might be a YouTube channel. It might be your Twitter account, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. But you're just simply sharing content that people watch. And then because it's valuable to them, it then makes them want to reach out to you to maybe comment and say, hey, I need help with this. The same way that you are watching this video on this channel, I create content that makes people leave comments. And some of those people who leave comments be then, then become my clients. Some of the people reach out to me on the other different social media platforms I use, and then they become clients because I create content that makes them reach out to me. And just to show you an example of outbound marketing, when you are reaching out and you're looking for clients, you can simply go to Google and do a search like, for example, if the niche I want to focus on is real estate, I can say real estate agents is near me. Once I've searched, I can click here where it says maps and then Google Maps is going to show me all the different real estate agencies that are near my location. Now this, so this is the actual map of the area, but these are the different companies that actually pop up. All you simply need to do is just simply scroll down through these and number one, you're going to be looking for those companies that don't have websites. Number two, you're going to be looking for those companies that might have a website, yes, but it's a terrible looking website and you know you can improve it. All you simply need to do is click here where it says website and then open it up and then look at the website and compare it to the types of websites that you know you're able to build using Creator HQ, the platform that I showed you earlier on. If it's a beautiful looking website, you just leave them and you will ignore it. But you're just going to keep scrolling down until you find those websites that you know you can improve or where you get to somewhere where there is no website. Then you will notice that these different companies they put their full number there, meaning that you can actually call this number and you can book an appointment to meet up with them to, to talk about their website. Or if they already have got a website, you can simply go to the website and then you'll be able to find their contact details there. That's if you want to improve their website. And now I especially love this method because it allows you to be able to reach companies that are near your location companies that you can actually walk to. You can get there with your laptop and actually show them what you're able to do. The next thing that you then need to do is that you need to come up with an offer that you're going to be presenting to all these different companies that you're going to be reaching out to. Now, one of the things that I personally do when I'm reaching out to different companies, I just send them this script that I always edit to make it relevant to whoever I'm reaching out to. But it's basically a quick offer that tells them what I'm able to do. And it can sound something like this. Hey, are you still open? I tried to look up your website to see reviews when searching for when searching for a real estate agency, but I couldn't find one. This is a bit random, but I decided to build you one. Would it be cool if I send you a link to the new website on this email? Let me know if you like it. What I'm doing is I'm just basically telling them that I was looking for information about you guys, but I couldn't find the information because you don't have a website. So I thought of creating one for you. Do you want, is it okay if I send you a sample of the website that I've built for you? Now, the nice part about using this method is that first and foremost, you want to see whether these people will actually get back to you. If they get back to you and they say yes, it tells you that this is a potential custom. Then number two, it allows you to then showcase the work that you do. You simply go back to your website platform. You create a landing page or a sample website using the different templates there. You just simply take their logo, take their contact details, take their information and put it on the sample website. And then you send it back to them and say that this is the thing that I, I created for you. Using this method, you'll be able to reach out to hundreds of people a day. And then depending on how many people actually reply you, you then can create these templates or these sample websites and then send them back to the people. Now, because most people are very visual and they believe in what they can actually see, some of the people that you send these website samples to will say yes to you and they can become your customers. Just a reminder, I teach you how to do all this in the free course that I spoke about. The link is in the description of this video for you to sign up. The next thing that you need to think about is how much do you price your products? Now, normally when you're starting out, it makes sense for you to undercharge. You want to be pricing yourself very low so that you can get a few people to say yes to you. But eventually you need to raise your prices. This is very important because when you are reaching out to more established companies, some of these companies may not want to work with you because they feel like your price is too cheap, which makes them assume that you don't know what you're doing. Personally, this has happened to me. I've reached out to some people with some good money and I told them that the website is just going for $500 only and they said no to me. And then they hired someone else that maybe I knew who was not a good website designer like me, but they paid him $3,500 
Why? Because his price was in line with their expectation. So depending on who you're reaching out to, you need to be able to be flexible with your prices and you need to produce pricing that shows that you are able to do what you say you are going to do. The best way to know about what to price is just simply do your research. Go to Google and look for different website design agencies in your area or around you. Go to their pricing section and see how much they're actually charging for websites. If you're looking for clients online or internationally, see what international companies are actually charging for websites and then also set your prices like that. And another thing that you also need to consider because you're using Creator HQ, you also need to factor in how much it actually costs for you to build a website on the platform. For example, the lowest charge if you're going for the year, if you're paying for the whole year, is going to be at $39 per month. But if you're going to be paying from month to month, it's going to be $49. So what I normally do is that I charge my clients for the whole year. I just say $39 times 12 months, whatever figure I get there. And then I then add the amount of how much it will cost me to build the website. And normally for me, I charge maybe $500. The total now amount can come up to maybe $1,000 for me to just build the website for the client. Me calculating how much the platform will actually cost saves the client time and the hassle of having to actually pay from month to month. But sometimes there are other clients that may want to pay month to month. You just simply build the platform for them and then they add their payment details and then they're going to be paying the platform every single month. It's up to you to choose which way you want to approach this. We talk more about this in the course that I mentioned. Once you're clear on your pricing, the next step is for you to just simply start receiving payments and you start earning money from your website design business. It's as simple and as easy as that. It's not complicated. You can start earning money by building websites. Once again, I've got a free course that can teach you everything that we spoke about in this video and the other stuff that I didn't explain more in detail. Just click the link that's going to be in the description of this video for the free course and sign up. Also, you can sign up for Creator HQ, get a free trial. The link is also going to be in the description below. Sign up for a free trial. It's going to give you 14 days to just test it out and see how it actually works. But if you've got any other questions, maybe you want me to answer something in maybe a future video, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer you. But as also, I may create a future video depending on what your question is. If you found value in this video so far, please show your support by just hitting the like button. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I drop content like this. And you might also be interested in checking out this playlist right here, which will show you how you can grow your website design business.